Hello everybody, I'm your host Woody, back from vacation. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 discoveries that prove giants actually existed. From ancient remains to real living giants, Let's get into it. Number 10, Amazon Tools. The Amazon rainforest is home to many unique and dangerous creatures, as well as unsolved mysteries and lost civilizations. But did you know that the Amazon was actually once home to giants? At least this evidence discovered in 2012 seems to point to that being the truth. A group of Ecuadorian researchers ventured into the thick forest in order to follow ancient legends of a city of giants, and they actually found it. They found massive stone structures and even a large pyramid. The stones being so precisely cut and arranged that it could not have been just formed by the forces of nature. Within these structures, they also found massive stone tools that were too large for any normal sized human to use, including hammers and chisels and other building tools. While some people do still chalk it up to natural formations, the team and many others stand by their belief that this city was once home to a race of giants. Number 9. Giant Skeleton In 1890 in France, a man named Georges Vachet made a skeletal discovery in a Bronze Age cemetery in Castelnau. Three separate bone fragments were found that came from both the arm and the leg, or humerus and tibia bones for all the scientists out there. The bones seem to date back to the Neolithic era, which was around 10,000 to 4,000 BC, and they are thought to be evidence of one of the largest human beings ever. The man who discovered them used the size of the bone fragments to estimate the total size of the person, which would have been around 11 and a half feet tall. In 1892, the bones were sent to a university in France to be carefully studied by a professor of pathological anatomy, him admitting that the bones represented a quote, very tall race. A few years later, giant skulls were found in another French cemetery and also sent away for even more study. Number 8. Bigfoot The first discovery of Sasquatch or Bigfoot footprints goes all the way back to the year 1811. Since then, there have been countless reports of Bigfoot sightings and encounters, and with the invention of photo and video cameras came massive amounts of apparent real footage of Bigfoot. Bigfoot is most often described as being a giant humanoid creature around 15 feet tall who tends to hang out in the woods and ignore fabricated mating calls from Bigfoot hunters on their television shows. These sightings also span all the way across the entire world, each country and culture having their own representation and name for the mysterious creature. From the Russian Yeti to the Australian Yowie, they're apparently everywhere. So while many photos and recordings of Bigfoot have been debunked, there are many people who truly believe the Bigfoot is real, and who's to say they couldn't potentially be a long lost race of giants who had to move into the woods as society evolved. Number 7. West Virginia Giants The giant skeletons discovered in France aren't the only reports of giant remains being found. They have also been found in American soil, specifically in West Virginia. In 1774, a man named Jack Parsons was walking along a flooded river when he saw a bone sticking out of the ground. And like any normal person would do, he pulled it out, discovering it was a femur. But it was almost twice the size of his own. Alongside it, he found more bones and discovered a skeleton that was around 8 feet tall. In 1838, excavators found even more remains that were also much taller than the average person. In the 1850s, even more were found, though they soon went missing and were thought to have been stolen and sold. Over the years, even more remains were found in the late 1800s, one skeleton even being over 10 feet tall. The giant town and other places across West Virginia have even even more stories of discoveries of this race of giants. Number 6. Robert Wadlow Arguably the most famous real giant who you've probably heard of before is a man who was named Robert Wadlow. If you have read the Guinness Book of World Records or visited one of their walkthrough museums, you have probably seen his picture or stood next to his giant life-size statue. And yes, this guy was actually real and he was actually that tall. He was just brushing 9 feet
feet tall at the time of his death in the summer of 1940. He was born in 1918 and at the time no one knew just how tall he was going to be, as he was an average sized baby weighing 8.7 pounds, which is less than I weighed when I was born but to be fair I was a big baby. He then quickly started to shoot up and by the time he was 8 years old he was almost 6 feet tall. For reference the average 8 year old is usually around 4 feet tall. He became a celebrity for his height, starring in the circus and doing a promotional tour for a shoe company. Unfortunately his gigantism led to numerous medical issues and he died at the age of only 22. Number 5 Greek Mythology Now let's turn around and take a look back at some more theoretical proof of giants. Some famous giants from different cultures and legends. I know you may not think of this as real evidence but I just love digging into these myths and depictions and if so many different cultures across the world are writing about giants this could be evidence that they're real, right? So let's start with the Greeks. Atlas was the name of a titan that went to war against Olympus. As we know the titans lost and Atlas was cursed to hold up the sky for the rest of eternity. Atlas also had a run in with Perseus who was a slayer of monsters. Atlas tried to scare Perseus away and in response Perseus took Medusa's head out of his bag and turned Atlas to stone, creating the range that is now known as the Atlas Mountains. But hey, at least he doesn't have to hold up the sky anymore. Number 4 Irish Giants Irish mythology believes that a race of giants known as the Fomorians were actually the original settlers of Ireland. Balor was the king of these one eyed giants and was also the god of death. It was said that anyone who looked at him would die instantly. Because of this he constantly kept his eye closed until it was absolutely necessary. A prophecy said that he would be killed by his own grandson so he locked his daughter away to prevent her from having any children. But this didn't work as a minor God snuck in and got comfortable with his daughter and they loved each other very much and she had three kids. But Balor was still thinking with his head and so he threw all three kids into the ocean. Problem solved, right? Wrong. One of the sons survived and was raised by the god of the sea. The kid grew up, led a bunch of Irish gods into battle, and he killed Balor by ripping out his eye. Goodbye king of giants, you really tried your best. Number 3 The Bible When you think of giants in the Bible, you may think of the story of Goliath, a giant who was defeated by a regular sized shepherd named David. Goliath was a champion from the city of Gath, which is a place where a race of giants apparently originated from. His exact size is up in the air, but many people believe he was around 9 foot 7 and wore a large amount of bronze armor. And here's how the story goes. David goes out to face Goliath, holding the fate of his people in his hands. So of course he's armed with a very menacing weapon, a slingshot. David uses his trusty slingshot to fire a rock, which hits Goliath right between his eyes. And Goliath falls down and dies immediately. Pretty good shot. David and Goliath has become an infamous story for representing the underdog. Though my personal favorite story about underdogs is the movie Underdog, released in 2007. Number 2 Gog Magog If you know me then you know I'm constantly looking for names to name my future children and this one is definitely a strong contender. Gog Magog is the name of the last British giant. A Welshman wrote a book about how early Britain was inhabited by a race of giants. One of the being Gog Magog, 12 feet tall and able to easily uproot an oak tree. One day the giants attacked Brutus, descendant of the Trojans, and all the giants were killed except for good old Goggy. Brutus took Gog Magog to his second in command who was apparently super into giant wrestling. The two wrestled and Gog Magog was going pretty ham and crushed a few of the guys ribs. But this didn't kill the guy and instead just made him super angry. Fueled by his rage the man was able to pick up Gog Magog carry him up a hill, toss him off a cliff to his death, ridding the world of Britain's last giant. Rest in peace Gog Magog. Number 1 Hrungnir Giants exist all over Norse mythology but the one that is known as the biggest and baddest is called Rungnir. One day Odin, the leader of the Norse gods of Asgard challenged the giant to a horse race. Which turns out to be a little unfair when you take into account the fact that Odin was riding his magical six legged horse and Rungnir just had a normal horse. He of course lost and Odin at least felt a little bad about it so he invited the giant back to Asgard for a drink. Like me he couldn't handle his alcohol 
alcohol and started getting a little rowdy, saying that he would kill all of the gods of Asgard except for two goddesses which he would bring back with him to the realm of the giants. The Asgardians were like, hey bro, that's kinda not cool, and told Thor to come deal with this clown. So the two met for battle, Rungnir wearing stone armor and with a massive stone as his weapon. Thor picked up his magical hammer Mjolnir and it broke through both the stone and Rungnir's face killing him. I'm noticing a pattern in these stories that the giant always ends up dying and probably why they're not around today. Thank you guys for watching, that was 10 bizarre discoveries that prove giants actually existed. If you enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe and maybe check out some more of our stuff. I've been Woody and you've been amazing, join us next time for more lists and scary things.